Hiyo basically got some good news for you ladies and gentlemen so and the good news is you look beautiful as you already are without surgery that's the good news so that's the title you look beautiful already without surgery you know I'm not going to be here sort of like knocking you back with Bible ba Bible bashing you constantly you know I'm not going to like quote, quote scriptures from the Bible because not everybody that's listening to me is interested in finding out what what God's opinion is about <coughs> sorry about beauty but you know the thing is what else can we do you know uh, but what I am going to say though basically if we find our you know if we look after ourselves well you know eat well sleep well maybe yeah a bit of sleeping well and just eating healthily not 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 smoking not drinking alcohol you probably thinking to you probably thinking to me else you probably thinking you know don't that means i can't do nothing at all you know there are things that things are enjoyable with, with with moderation but you know but you know this is where we have to find our identity in Jesus in 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 Christ if you want to i can't force you and you know who knows even if you you could you could even pray for pray for healing for whatever problem you're going through with your body wh whatever lumps you have in your body you could e you could easily pray for pray for guidance for that surgery or if it, if it has to be removed or pray for guidance for for who to go to and yeah but if you if you just want to go if you just want to do surgery just to look beautiful i'm sure i'm sure there's not i'm sure there's no such thing as you know as a as a beautiful person i'm sure there's no such thing as that if you know if what i'm trying to say is basically don't just focus on the outward outward appearance you have to sometimes we have to try and focus on the e e internal because the inter the internal is mo much more better than the external as we get older our bodies will fail but you know like like the bible says as well you know we we're, we're constantly being renewed renewed in strength let me know if you want me to find that bible passage but i won't tell you it because some people might be offended or or, or won't be happy with me quote, quoting scriptures from the bible so we're constantly being rejuvenated if, and try and, and renewed in our bodies and 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 in our in our spirit we're regularly renewed daily and why should why why should we try and be influenced just just because somebody next next to us you know bec just because we look at somebody and we think to ourselves you know that person's good looking you know and 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 then if we start to try and think to ourselves it basically it basically bounces back to us if we see someone that's good looking and we say and we say to ourselves you know we automatically blame ourselves for not looking good in some way or or yeah and but like i said before this is where when we try to try to when we try to identify parts of our bodies to st and set and and realize that 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 part of the body isn't beautiful as it should be or or as it was in the past or or even if you're young it's not as beautiful as it, as you want it to be 
this is where we have to do our best to try and find our identity in Christ because without Christ we without Jesus we we will we will, pick, we will start to pick pick faults with our bodies we will start to poss possibly even maybe abuse it if it's possible we might even do that I'm not saying that I'm not saying everybody will do that but I'm just trying to say so, you know when when new technologies comes out you know with with every technology that comes out with, with new technology that comes out at least one human being is going to take advantage of it and when 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 somebody takes advantage of it of that technology it, it eventually becomes a benefit a benefit a beneficiary um well i understand beneficiarizing somebody i know i know i know it's to do with i know beneficiaries to do with like claimants but with that oh, i'm lost with that Hmm. But yeah, with with the uh, with someone with the benefits of 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 that of that of that technology being 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 of being of benefits, you know, that's 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 the good thing when it becomes a benefit eventually. But some people will just want to want to take advantage of it because they want to look look good good looking and have a and, ha, and have an outward exterior of beauty I'm touching my face just to just to show you if that makes sense so whenever you cross the street or look at someone that looks better looking than you or or is shaped in a, in a different way than you or better shaped than you don't don't try not to always think that you know I need to go under the knife I need to have surgery try and think that you know I need to find I need to find some way of you know of of making myself more more content but we can like I said again you know we can only find that in the Bible we can but if you wanna if you feel free to search other religions and find out if you can find your identity in that in that religion but if you can't find any any identity in in that religion then I would say choose Christianity but yeah so you know don't lose heart don't lose don't lose don't lose hope because of your right because of your because because you not because you're not beautiful don't lose hope because beauty is just beauty beauty doesn't do anything it doesn't it doesn't i mean people get people can get things with beauty but the only thing they can get is money from beauty but in actual fact you know with all this beauty that's hovering around us you know can it can it really can it really grant us true happiness can it grant us true true satisfaction in our bodies so yeah so if we can try not to find happiness try not to try not try if we can try not to have try not to find find have happiness in surgery or going on underneath, underneath a knife but you know be guided by God be guided by Jesus but if you don't want to do any of those things look for Jesus look for God then you know feel free like I said to try another religion but get back to me if you if you can't find the answer to your your beauty but if anything give me a call and I'll and I'll definitely get back to you 
So let let's not let our beauty ruin our lives, ruin our days, or even ruin our years. Don't let it put you down your beauty or and don't and if it's stressing you out then just then just you might want to forget to forget about it and not do it the surgery but yeah this was just a this was just an inspiration from 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 a from a, a new law that's coming in about cracking down on on cosmetic surgery basically plas basic basically plastic surgery so that's really all I have to say for this video so God bless take care peace be with you and subscribe if you like what you see in here take care then Bye for now.